Um, it's Erica here. We're on the banks of the Ohio River in Beaver County uh, at the probably the largest oil and gas site in Pennsylvania that we've mapped and are visiting today. This is the Shell Ethane Cracker. Um, this facility will take a component of the fracked gas stream, it's called ethane, and it will convert it into polyethylene plastic. That's PET plastic. Um, you'll, it's, commonly, it's the most common type of plastic used in water and pot bottles and condiment containers. And this facility will um, churn out millions of tons of that plastic each year. Um, as you can see, this facility is currently under construction. It'll probably be another year or two before it begins operations. And uh, of course that's a concern because of the coronavirus pandemic. Um, construction briefly stopped earlier this spring, but state leaders decided that it was indeed essential. Um, workers were complaining that the cramped conditions, the buses they were riding on made it really impossible to socially distance. Um, but they are doing testing at the site and last we heard there have been at least 35 positive coronavirus cases and um, local news reports that there are half of the pre-pandemic workforce here which is around 30 I'm sorry which is around 4,000 people. Um, Shell reports that once this facility is operational there'll be around 600 permanent employees. This facility represents a larger trend in the fracking industry right now. Um, fracking companies in the U.S. have extracted way too much fracked gas and more than our energy demands are. And so uh, companies are eager to turn that excess fracked gas into petrochemical products like plastic and fertilizer. Um, this will contribute to the growing single-use plastic crisis that the world is facing and it'll also encourage more fracking in Pennsylvania. Actually, in fact, um, for every gallon of ethane that Shell converts into ethylene, it'll receive a five cent tax credit, which will add up to an estimated $66 million each year um, in tax credits. So it's a major burden for Pennsylvania taxpayers. It'll also contribute to um, pollution in the Ohio River, one of the most polluted rivers in the country, and uh, the Southwestern Pennsylvania Airshed, which is also very polluted. Um, Frack Tracker is working to map out this petrochemical build out in, in southwestern Pennsylvania. So not just facilities like this one, but all of the wells and wastewater injection wells and processing stations and pipelines and fractionation plants and storage sites it takes to convert fracked gas into things like plastic. And we hope that seeing these maps will not only help the public understand the huge environmental burden, but also all of the schools and homes and businesses and um, hospitals that are in the shadow of this expanding industry. So if this is concerning to you, there's a ton of really great residents and uh, local groups organizing to protect uh, the health and well-being of people here in Beaver County. Um, groups like Beaver County Marcellus Awareness Community have been instrumental in leading the conversation about the environmental and public health impacts of this plant and bringing community members to the decision-making table um, where they can, although there are really limited opportunities to do that. Uh, they've been working with a group called OVER to, to come out here and um, protest the unsafe working conditions that put workers at risk of coronavirus. And also groups like Reimagine Beaver have been um, engaging residents in a dialogue about ways to bring um, economic opportunities to this area that are sustainable and forward thinking. Um, and protect this really beautiful part of the state.